Hi, I'm Sasha Gray, and you can see me in Open Windows out now in VOD and in theaters November 7th. Hey, what's up? I'm on vacation visiting some friends. Do they live in the city? No, they live near Sacramento. Are you an SF? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm an SF. What do you do there? I sell insurance, huh? Want to buy some? I'll pass on the insurance. I already have some. How do you feel about butt stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll pass on that, too. <laughs> this shit's real? Where do you guys find this? Internet. Oh God. Suck my cock. No thanks. Wanna see it? No thanks. Wanna sit on it? No thanks. Can I see you? Nope. Bet you got nice tits. Okay. Can I see them? No. Bend over for me. No thanks. Well, okay. Sorry I'm really bored, forgive me. Okay. Have a good night. Thanks. <laughs> Can I lick your pussy? No. Can I lick your ass? No. And it's cut off there. Gosh, I bet the epic saga continues, so. <laughs> Have you heard what scientists are aing? Is that supposed to be saying? Probably. <laughs> what? That there's only gonna be seven planets after I destroy your... <laughs> <laughs> after I destroy Uranus. Oh! <laughs> that was good. Do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah. Good, I'm gonna tape my dick to your forehead so that you can see these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Care to grab a libation tomorrow night? Ah, the random disappearing act mindfuck. Top pick for all self-involved princesses. Future reference though, you could just say okay when someone says, let me know if you want to hang out later, rather than saying, yes, I definitely do, then vanishing into the ether for no discernible reason. You'd be less of a douchebag that way, but I guess we can't all worry about such silly things. Enjoy! <laughs> Whoa, I just saw this. Phone was at my parents, left it there, and it had died. That was extremely rude, uncalled for, and uh, no, I now, I now wouldn't like to go out with you, with you again. This isn't a request for reconsideration. I'm really sorry. That, <laughs> that vitriol wasn't meant for you. A spree of lunatics have sugared their egos at my expense lately in rapid succession. They're who I was frustrated with, not you. No excuse, just an apology. Take care. Any tips is fedora. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey baby, can I have some pics? Wink. Of what? Of you, wink. <laughs> wink. Um, not right now. Please, I'm hard, baby. <laughs> um, what the fuck? I'm in class and I don't send nudes. <laughs> I don't even know what that acronym stands for. <laughs> then send me a selfie. I can't, I get off on that too. I'm sorry, my phone was hacked. Ugh, I'm sorry. Worst excuse ever. Daisies or roses? Daisies. Okay, just wondering what to put in the casket after I murder that pussy. <laughs> What's the difference between jam and jelly? Oh, clever. Well, I know the difference. And what is it? Jam has whole fruit pieces. Nope. The real difference is I can't jelly my dick in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, classic. Nice job. Nice job. I was craving Cece's pizza so bad today and going through people in my head that might actually go with me and I was like, hmm, Pete might like to go with me. <laughs> I love it there. <laughs> Every time I ask people if they want to go, they're like, really? People suck, lol. Ha, huh, I know, right? People are weird. I'm naked, lol. <laughs> good one. Ooh, nice glasses. We should take our glasses on a date. And then have sex. W without the glasses, of course. Tee hee. <laughs> Are you a washing machine? Yeah. Good, because I want to fill you with my dirty load. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey. What are you doing? Nothing, getting ready to go to work. Cool. Want to see my hard cock? <laughs> I don't do that kind of work anymore. Feel up to chatting? I'm not looking for ass. Sorry. My phone is just blowing up. I just made this account. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I would like to chat. You are so, so beautiful. Want to see a video of me coming? 
<laughs> I'm no weatherman, but there's a good chance of getting a few inches today. <laughs> Who, you or me? <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow night? I want to cook. You can put my meat in your mouth. Stop messaging me. What? I came from nowhere. You're kind of rude. You should apologize. You're only on Tinder to get attention, aren't you? This is ridiculous. I should not be getting disrespected by you. You're not hot enough to be acting like this. Hey, Tom. Not disrespecting you. I just don't want to talk. We don't know each other, so it shouldn't matter. I hope you have a good night. That's the point. If you meet on Tinder, you exchange numbers and get to know each other, you stupid fuck. You're so <laughs> fucking stupid. If only you knew that I made 32K since June. <laughs> Then you treat me differently. Such fucking nonsense. But you're the type to hang in Buckhead, so it makes sense that you would think you're elite and better than everyone, even though most people who live in Buckhead are upper middle class by the rest of the country's standards. Have to get out of Atlanta, getting rejected by sixes. A new low. You're not even hot, and you act like a princess. It's like, what the fuck is this shit? You work as an account manager. I, I trade futures contracts on my couch. Recognize superiority. Know your place. You look like an alien in that Facebook picture. Eyes way too far apart. Learn your place in the dating game. You're from Maine. You're not good enough to reject me. Bitch, black people always think I'm Ashton Kutcher. What? Don't you get that I'm above you? God, Sex in the City has fucked up the minds of so many chicks in our generation. It's awful. You guys all think you're the shit no matter how mediocre looking you are. I'm sorry. My phone is overheating. You are hot. <laughs> Best line on Tinder or the greatest ever? Lol. <laughs> it's okay. Lol, you have big boobs. Jeez. <laughs> Are you into white guys? Lol. Not now. <laughs> Cute tats on your arm. I can make them disappear though. Smiley face. Uh, okay. When you fist my ass, when you're ready, of course, lol, you can see them disappear. I can take it. <laughs> she has tattoos yeah. and she's gonna put it in my, yeah. so that dis yeah, they disappear. Okay, uh, Would you fuck with me for a hundred dollars? Sure, I'll fuck with you for a hundred dollars. Okay, can I see you today? Yeah, of course. See you in Westchester in a half an hour. It will be better after 5 p.m. because I am working. 2.30 p.m. or nothing. I'll meet you at your work. Tell me your full name and where you work and I'll show up. Okay, okay. Why do you need my full name? Uh, come to 132 Craft Avenue. Uh, when you are there, just tell me. Okay, 2.30. Then what? Just you suck me and I take you in the toilet. <laughs> Bring one candom. <laughs> Is it okay? <laughs> Is it okay? Sure, I'm nearly there. Okay. And then some time passes. <laughs> uh -huh. Where are you? Not coming. I was just fucking with you. Can I have my hundred dollars now? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's the deal with Open Windows? Open Windows is a film directed by Nacho Vigalondo. Um, and it's about this young man named Nick Chambers, played by Elijah Wood. And Nick is the ultimate fanboy of this actress named Joe Godar. And he okay. believes he's won a dinner date to meet his biggest idol. And he's contacted by somebody who he believes to be from her management saying she flaked and she's not going to show up. And this kind of allows Nick to make choices out of anger and resentment that he otherwise wouldn't make but he's really just lured into it by somebody else who's trying to stalk her. The film is told on a computer screen through a series of open windows, so it's, oh. it's very different, uh, it's very visual, and with not just directing, it's very serious, it's a thriller, but at the same time there's bits of humor in it that are exclusive to Nacho's personality, so I think it's funny even when it's heavy, which is cool. Well, geez, you're being a real negative Nancy. <laughs>